So today I am going to try a new recipe. I'm going to try to make the Tex-Mex dish called picadillo. Here are some of the ingredients. We have ground beef, garlic, beef broth, onion, green pepper, golden raisins, chili, cumin, potatoes, tomato sauce, olives. You're supposed to use a jalapeno, but I only have the sliced hot jalapeno peppers, salt, of course, oil, garlic salt, no, sorry, garlic powder, and oregano. So, let's get cooking. I think it's always a good idea to work on the prep work first. I don't know about you, but I actually enjoy slicing and dicing. Something very, I don't know, therapeutic about it, I guess. I like it. I had picadillo. About, I don't know, a month ago, I think, I was in El Paso with my husband and we were camping and we found this wonderful restaurant there. It's kind of a hole in the wall, but we heard about it from another YouTuber and I think it was called L and J. If you've been there, go ahead and put it in the comments below because you will know then why that place is worth going to El Paso for, just to go there. Such a good restaurant. And that was the first time we had ever tried something called picadillo. We'd never even heard of it. And they served it with an amazing queso sauce, which I'm not going to even attempt tonight. Although I would love to someday. And it was so rich <clears throat> and so filling. It was served in uh, tortillas surrounded by that queso sauce. And it was so rich and so filling that I could only eat half. And I promised myself that someday I was gonna learn how to make pico de vino. So tonight is Sunday. What does this have to do with camping and hiking since that's what your channel is mostly about? And I'm glad you asked. I am practicing here to see if this is a dish that would work well for camping. And I have a feeling that it will. I'm gonna spoon off a little bit of the oil to make it just a little healthier. Full oh, half cup.
Okay, it has been 25 minutes and check that out. This has really nice texture. Uh, just sort of a variety of textures and also it holds warmth really well. It's not like ham that gets cold right away. It's, it holds warmth and it's really nice that way. It stays hot on your plate. Now there's just a real interesting mixture of flavors. What I especially like is the raisins and the sauce that just kind of goes through everything is just especially nice. This is very unique. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you.